Hello everyone, welcome to the Linux Hint. In this video, we are gonna talk about how we can install Play on Linux on Ubuntu. So, Play on Linux is a graphical front end of Vine. It is the Windows compatibility layer for Linux. Vine is used to install and run Windows application on Linux. Play on Linux makes installing Windows applications via Vine easier and it saves you a lot of command line tweak by providing an easy to use graphical front end. So in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can install Play on Linux on your Ubuntu. So for this demonstration, I am using Ubuntu 18.04 LTS. So before moving to the installation process of Play on Linux, let's discuss the benefits of Play on Linux. So when you are choosing the Play on Linux, you do not have to own a Windows license to use this application and so profits from all its features, yet it keeps the user from having to deal with all its complexity. Play on Linux is free software and Play on Linux uses Bash and Python. So without any further ado, let's get started and let's see that how we can install the Play on Linux on Ubuntu. So in order to install the Play on Linux, we have to use these commands. First of all, we have to add the key for the Play on Linux. Then we have to add the repository of Play on Linux. And then we have to update the APT repository cache. And finally, we have to install the Play on Linux by using this command. That is sudo apt-get install Play on Linux. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna copy this command. And I'm going to paste this command on my terminal. So you have to note down this command and you have to write this command on your terminal and after writing this command you have to hit enter. Alright, so in the output you can see that it has printed OK, it means that the key is added successfully. And now we have to add the repository for play on Linux by using this command. So write down this command on your terminal and hit enter. Alright, so as you can see that the repository is added successfully. So now we have to update the apt repository cache. Alright, the apt repository cache is updated successfully. And now we have to install the play on Linux. So in order to install the play on Linux, you have to write on your terminal sudo apt-get install play on Linux sudo apt hyphen get install play on linux all right hit enter so press y here to continue this installation process all right the play on linux is installed successfully and now we have to check that whether the play on linux working correctly or not so to check this write on your terminal play on linux double hyphen version and it shows the installed version of play on linux on your ubuntu and it means that it is working correctly so it is very easy to install the windows application on your linux by choosing the play on linux so to open up the play on linux write on your terminal play on linux or you can go to your app menu and you search for the play on linux and open it up so this is the play on linux main window so whenever you have to install a new program then you have to click on this install button So here you have multiple categories available to install your application. For example, you have a category here, accessories, development, education, games, and etc. So you have to select a category which is appropriate for you. And then you have to select the application and then you can install it easily by using the play on Linux. So what you have to do, you have to simply click on this install button and when you will install it, it will be displayed into a list here then you have to select the application and then you have to click on this run button and the execution of the application will be started and if you want to install any application that is not listed in this list then what you have to do you have to click here install a non-listed program and then you have to provide the path of the exe file and then it will be installed so 
for example, if you want to install Notepad++ and Notepad++ is not available into the list, then you have to go to the Notepad++ website, you have to download the exe file and then you have to click on install a known listed program and select the exe and it will be installed. So after installing all the application, it will be displayed here in this list. So the idea is that you have to select one particular application and then you have to click on this run button and application will run successfully. I hope you got the point and that's it for this video. I hope you found this video useful. Keep visiting our website linuxin.com for more useful videos like this.